That's the promenade in 1893. And the original promenade was built in 1844. But those railings below are now gone. They were wrecked during the 1895 storm. That's Penzance Promenade in 1883. Here it is again during a storm in 1897. And here it is again in 1908, quite close to where the Jubilee bathing pool is now. That's outside the Queen's Hotel in Penzance. 1897. And that picture was taken at the same time. the promenade again in 1906 again on the prom in 1906 just outside the Queen's Hotel That's a view of South Terrace, St Mary's Church in the background. And that was taken in 1890. And there we have a shot of the Café Marina. which was on the western end of the promenade back in the 30s a bit closer view I can remember going there as a boy another view the western end of the promenade Part of Newland can be seen in the background. The gardens in front of Southview Terrace. That was fairly recent, 1955 to be exact. People enjoying a swim in the Jubilee Pool. And that was in 1935, just when the pool was built. That's the children's section. That's a more general view of the pool. A few people on the beach. And the pavilion can be seen. Top left, which is now an amusement arcade. 
that was taken in the mid-1920s. A few more people enjoying the sunny weather. And there's the tennis courts. 1927, bottom of Alexander Road. The amusement arcade can be seen top left of the picture. It was then the pavilion. Some more children playing on the beach. Queen's Hotel, top of the picture, and that was taken in 1906. Bathing huts on the beach, the western end of the promenade, in 1920. There they are again, and Newland can be seen in the background. Again on the beach at Penzance in the mid twenties. And that's the Bedford Belitha Gardens in 1924. They were completely wrecked in 1962 when we had the bad storm. Most of the promenade was damaged at the time. That's another view of it. The position where that's standing is now a car park opposite the uh, Quap Garage and the Mounts Bay Pub. And that's the monument at Battery Rocks. St Clement's Isle just off Mersel can be seen faintly in the distance on the left. That's St Anthony Gardens and the bathing pool when it opened in 1935. Another view of St Anthony Gardens, looking out along the promenade. That was 1955. A bit more of St Anthony Gardens. Top right can just about make out St Michael's Mount. That was at Gulville in 1893. It was the Old Inn, which is now, of course, the Cold Streamer. And that's Gulville Church. That was also taken in 1893. That's the old thatch cottage down at Overton. It was known as Trudava Farm 
and was taken in 1908. And that's Tarif House, taken in 1955. And that's Lanyon Coit, taken around 1955. And those are the Merry Maidens from the Bronze Age. They're situated fairly near La Mona. An helicopter at the Heliport Penzance, somewhere around the time the airport was built in 1965. And that's Madron Church in 1920. Looking towards Newlyn from Bedford Belitha Gardens. And that was back in the 1920s. And that's a little bit of old Newlyn in 1903. And that's an old fisherwoman from Newlyn. About 1906. A couple of fish jousters again, 1906, on Newland Quay. A village scene in Newland, again at the turn of the century. Two young lads enjoying a swim. Don't know what's happened to their costumes. Oh, he's decided to turn the other way. The Bowling Green between the Panzance and New Lynn, 1960. That's a picture of old Mausel in 1927. Those old cottages used to be at the top of Key Street, Penzance, but they're long since gone. That's the band stand in the Morgue Gardens. And that was 1955. And that's another shot in the gardens, but that was in 1906. And that's in the Green Market, Penzance. That was 1925. Again, the Green Market in 1955. St John's Hall, Penzance, and that was in 1955. Looks like an old Vauxhall on the right. Lloyd's Bank on the left, Pearl Assurance House straight in front. That's a torpedo boat in the harbour at Penzance in 1955.